Hello there, YouTube. Um, today is our third tutorial in the Java Beginner Development Series, and we are going to be working with um, simple variables and kind of explain that a little bit. Um, so, many of you probably know what a variable is um, if you've taken pre algebra or just know it in general. Um, a variable is uh, a piece of data that can be changed at different times. So, for example, if you have uh, an integer with a value uh, with a uh, which is assigned to x, and it has a value of one, you can change that value to three, four, nine hundred, um, etc. And that's pretty much an example of a variable. Um, and in programming you use variables a lot if you need to pretty much do almost anything from working with like how much money you have in a bank account to um, pretty much uh, maybe like a game uh, loop or something of the sort uh, it can be all different and you will use them a lot um, but let's uh, get introduced to variables right now so uh, first we will delete our comments comment and start writing so first write int x semicolon and I'll explain what this is um, so int in Java pretty much means we're declaring an integer variable um, and x is what we're going to declare that variables name as so now that we have x, we can assign um, a number to it, since it's an integer. So to do to assign x a number, all you do is do x equals and then your number. So we're going to use 100. And what this will do is it will assign the variable x to have a value of 100. And we can use this value in many different places. Um, but for now, we're just going to assign it to it sign a sign um, x to 100 and to show that this is working let's write system out println and notice how I don't have quotations right here that's because we're going to be inserting a variable um, in Java when you want to insert a variable to print out to the console all you do is don't insert quotations and then insert the variable name so for us it would be x now if you want to do, to do x and then some letters to print out to the console, you could do x plus quotations and then the text you want to say. So 100 is my favorite number, if I can spell that. Um, so what this will do is it will print the value of x, which is 100, is my favorite number. So let's run our program. And we're going to save. And if you look at the console down here, you'll see it display 100 is my favorite number. Now this is just a little uh, example of what can be done, um, but you can do some pretty crazy um, things with variables eventually, um, which I will show in later tu tutorials. Um, but as of now, that's it for integers. Um, now let's move on to strings. Um, strings are pretty much the same as integers, except they don't store numbers, they store text, like is my favorite number. So let's declare a string by typing string with an uppercase x, string um, text. Now I could name this string y or string j, but I'm going to go with string text. Um, and the way this works is just like an integer, you can do text equals and then quotations, semicolon, and whatever you put inside these quotations will be what x is uh, what text is equal to. So um, if I do cats for text, I can use that variable in different places. So for example, if we type system out println print and then write text 
semicolon. The variable text will print to the console. Uh, and you can, of course, test that by pressing the run button and saving. And if you look here, it says cats was printed to the console. Right underneath x is my favorite number. So that's uh, pretty much um, how to use strings and integers. And there are many different ones, um, which I won't be printing to the console, but I'll explain. A, um, let's see, a double, 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 okay, I'm not going to do a double D, uh, double K, um, is pretty much uh, a integer with a decimal after it. So we can do K equals 1. Point forty-three, um, and what this will do is it'll assign the value k to 1.43 and you can't assign decimals to integers it'll return an error um, as it cannot convert um, from a double to an integer um, and that's that's why you don't uh, the reason you don't want to use doubles all the time even though it may seem easier and you might be saying to yourself, oh, I don't see why I wouldn't just use a double 24-7, is because doubles take up more space in memory, and they can slow your program down, while integers are much faster and more responsive. Um, and that's a double. And there's many more um, different data variables in here, which I will probably be using in later tutorials. But as of now, the main ones you need to know are string, uh, integer, and maybe double if we get to there. And uh, yeah, so that concludes the third tutorial. Thank you for watching.